Hello and welcome to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. Today's lecture is on CT scan and that is also on a physics. Now in CT physics we are going to see a contrast enhancement. What CT scan has to do with a contrast enhancement? How it improves its diagnostic accuracy if we use contrast which are the type of contrast we use we are going to see in this. However, uh, IV contrast, their side effects, reactions, how to treat them is not going to be a topic of today's discussion. With this brief introduction, we are going to disclaimers. Most of the material in this lecture is used from our lecture taken in the department every year. It is there from many years and we are using it for the every batches. However, some of the material we have downloaded from the net which is royalty free. With this brief introduction, let us go going to the today's topic that is the what is the role of contrast in CT scan. Now, contrast CT or a contrast enhanced computerized tomography CCT is an X-ray computed tomography CT done using Radio contrast, not necessarily they are IV contrast, but different type of contrast are there which we are going to see now. Now, radio contrast for X-ray CT scan are generally iodine based. Either they are ionizing or non-ionizing. So, depending on the need, depending on the indication, these type of contrast are used. So, also in a different strength. Now, these this is used to highlight structures like blood vessels which are not identified routinely by the spleen scan. So, we give here with the help of pressure injector, IV contrast and we see that blood vessel enhances. It has got arterial phase, capillary phase and venous phase. Depending on the requirement, we take these phases. Now, due to IV contrast, there is increase in CT density of the vascular structure. So, they shine out, arteries shine out more in arterial phase and subsequently we take a capillary and venous phases that is triphasic. Now, what are the common indications for contrast enhanced CTs? Now, here we are given a list of it. Most of the abdominal examination may be acute appendicitis, may be ulcer staging, may be diverticulitis, may be pancreatitis or may be pulmonary embolism. We use IV contrast. Techniques are different as I told you in certain we take arterial phase, in certain we take venous phase or in certain we take triphasic and sometime we have to go for a delayed enhancement also particularly in case of AV malformations where we have to go for a delayed scan. In contrast enhanced CT, contrast is artificially created between the structure that would be invisible otherwise. So, on plane scan structure which are not seen, we make IV contrast a artificial enhancement and there is a difference in attenuation values between two which gives us its existence separately. So, the enhancement pattern of the normal tissues, enhancement pattern of the blood vessel, enhancement pattern of the pathological structures are different which allows a radiologist to identify them whether they are pathological, they are routine that is normal anatomical or otherwise. In CT angiography, iodine is administered during the CT scan intravenously to enhance the contrast between the vessel and the vessel wall also and surrounding structures. In present lecture, we will not discuss the types of contrast, their safety, reaction ETC since it is extensively covered in some lectures. Only role of contrast in CT scan will be discussed in a basic form which will be useful for the technician as well as those who are aspiring to be radiologist and those who are interested in radiology for them this lecture is going to be useful. Now continuing the type of contrast we see now IV contrast most of the common agents used in CT imaging are iodine based. Barium is never used because it causes artifacts. The specific agent and route of administration are based on the clinical indication and pathological diagnosis on plane radiography that is a plane CT 
whatever information we get on that we decide how a contrast is injected how much is going to be injected and how we are going to film them clear communication between the physician and radiologist is essential for obtaining most appropriate result as the lowest as the cost of contrast is high so we have to give maximum benefit to the patient by reducing the uh, the rate or the contrast cost and the benefit ratio is always seen we try to make a cost as less as possible and get benefit as many as possible and this is only achieved by discussing the problem with clinician and by seeing a plain scan now after IV contrast we will come to another contrast that is oral contrast oral contrast agents are iodine based that is water soluble and are used for bowel opacification gastrographene was once upon a time very popular but nowadays in our institute we are using just a plain water which gives us a very good contrast so by mouth per rectally we use just plain water which is adequately good to give a good contrast now their usefulness is due to bowel opacification in abdominal and pelvic examination these are contraindicated in case of bowel perforation how you rule out is by taking erect abdomen before or even sonography can detect perforations a patient has dysphagia to have a risk of aspiration contrast may be installed through nasogastric tube now in certain studies of the abdomen even a plain water as i told you is most commonly used by our institute at present by and large if there is a gas it can be made use sometime to diagnose uh, but it cannot be air cannot be a contrast agent as we, if we see air in csf as if we see air in peritoneum that gives a contrast which helps us contrast is a differentiation ability on ct between two tissues that is possible but here we are not artificially giving air as a contrast so air cannot be a contrast of choice or a contrast agent but it helps us in diagnosis if it is found at an abnormal place so it helps us but definitely not it's a contrast agent now rectal contrast even a plain water will do or even a manitol or a gastrographin same as that of the git that is the stomach duodenum small bowel we can opacify rectum by giving a rectal contrast however it is very difficult to reach it to a ileocecal junction so best is if it is plain water why not give by two roots it will serve the good purposes of contrasting or opacifying full elementary tract iv contrast agent we had discussed somewhere else also in this lecture also and it has got a major role but most of the time IV contrast even we combine with oral contrast and that gives us a most ideal combination many centers use non-ionic that is a today's practice it's a good contrast agent it gives a very good safety margin and most of the time when we are using pressure injector it is tolerated better by the patients so do we do plain scan we see if there is any indication and we go accordingly for the IV contrast intrathecal contrast now after the invention of MRI these indications are getting less and less we are not using it as much as we were using it earlier so intrathecal contrasts are rarely used but in spite of all these there are certain indications for that especially if CSA planoria that is a intrathecal iodinated contrast is given during the myelography to evaluate spinal or basal cistern diseases and a cerebral spinal leak especially if it is post-traumatic csf leak through the nose now with that what message will be taking home contrast is a artificially induced agent which enhances the tissues and enhancement pattern of the different tissues is in different ways which will help us to identify which tissues are normal which tissues are abnormal in that again whichever are the abnormal tissues what is the abnormality in them so different organs different pathologies have different contrast enhancement pattern ct scanning technique is also different to obtain best results of contrast enhancement whether you are going for arterial phase venous phase to give you example in pulmonary angiography 
टेक्निक प्लेज एटी परसेंट ऑफ द रोल इफ टेक्निक इज रॉन्ग एवरीथिंग कैन गो रॉन्ग सो नॉट ओनली कॉन्ट्रास्ट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट ऑल्सो टेक्निक ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन एनजियोग्राफी स्पीड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रास्ट इंजेक्शन ट्रिगरिंग ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रास्ट वेन टू स्टार्ट इट हाउ लॉन्ग टू टेक इट हाउ मच टू गिव इट आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट विद दैट वी आर कमिंग टू एंड ऑफ द शॉर्ट लेक्चर आई थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम प्लीज विजिट आवर वेबसाइट please visit our uh, youtube channel there are lot of lectures on it there is lot of information on it there are lot of different presentations of the radiography radiology on it there are different ebooks of radiography on it there are ebooks of radiology ebooks of procedure on it do visit it and if you like it give us a like or thumbs up thank you goodbye and take care